Texas Congressman Michael McCall now ranking member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, and he is headed to Poland later today with a bipartisan delegation. First of all, let's start there. Welcome, and I'm so glad you're in focus. What do you hope to accomplish when you get to Poland? Uh, well, we want, we're going to go where uh, NATO meets Russia, right on the front lines. And uh, many things. Uh, two, primarily, what are the humanitarian conditions on the ground? You mentioned 1.2 million people fleeing. And it's only going to get worse, Harris, as, uh, as these tanks, uh, when they circle Kiev like a ring of steel and then bombard it, uh, there will be many people fleeing. Uh, there's talk about this agreement to allow uh, women and children to leave the country. That will be a main focus. But for me particularly, the guy that signs off on the foreign weapon sales is what happened? Why didn't we get these in sooner mm. before the invasion rather than waiting after the invasion? And now that we're trying to play catch up and it's kind of late in the game, right, is, is how are we getting these weapons that the Ukrainians have asked for that Zelensky wants? How can we get those in so that they can, you know, the problem is I, I don't think they're going to prevail in the short term. I think Putin will bring the hammer down, but you will see a long term resistance. Uh, and there are 40 million people in Ukraine and they hate the Russians. Uh, and if they didn't hate him before last Wednesday, they certainly hate him now. Uh, you said that there's a guy in charge of foreign weapons sales. There's one guy? No, uh, the Foreign Affairs Committee and Senate Foreign Relations, every time we sell weapons to foreign nations, uh, the, the ranking member and chairman sign off on those weapons. Uh, my concern was that last November, and remember this started last March, you know, over a year ago, uh, that uh, he, the president held up these, uh, both the, uh, the stingers, you know, the javelins, yes. uh, the ammunition, the sniper rifles, and gets them in finally like days before the invasion. And now we, we have another package that we want to get into Ukraine. But now Secretary of Defense Austin thinks it's very difficult now with the Russians in there. Well, difficulty has never stopped us before. Did you hear the general? There's a whole lot we could be doing, General Keene said covertly you know what kind of appetite is there to actually do something still while it matters i mean it is so slow i, I watched the state of the union the other night why didn't the president turn around to the house speaker and say you know i'm talking about putting more money more things on the table here let's get that through the house there's a lot of frustration i've been asking the intelligence community and the state department these questions i think the general put it really well we need some imagination mm -hmm. and some spine you know, right now we've got 40 miles of a convoy of all of their tanks. They're really, you know, here sitting ducks. Why can't we come up with some plan to take them out? And it would avoid this, this what's going to be a really bad scene, bad images coming yeah. out of Ukraine and, and a lot of destruction and death. Uh, you know, they're getting drones from Turkey. And I want to look at all options on the table. We're going to be meeting with the 82nd Airborne over there. Okay. I want to see what can we do creative, creatively to get weapons in to stop this nightmare so, from going forward. Congressman, we have an opportunity right now, and I'm going to ask that you stand by with me while this reporting mm -hmm. happens, if you mm -hmm. have a moment, because I really want to get your response.